Ooh, we're going to be playing uh, Wonder Girl and the Dragon's Trap. Uh, I'm going to play as a Wonder Girl because, um, duh. Um, this is a game. Oh, God. Before you is the Monster Land. Overcoming various hardships, you have entered the monster's castle. Your target is the dreaded dragon's room. But unbeknownst to you is the fact that the dragon has the power to cast curses on his enemies. The last dungeon. Oh! So, um... This is a sequel to a game, uh, I think it's like Monster, Monster, well it's called Monster Boy, but since you could pick the girl, they, it changes it to Monster Girl. Um, uh, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, it, um, it's a sequel to like a, it's like an old Master System game where you can, um, you like the last boss is like you get here, I think. Like the, la the end of the game, you finish this place, and then this is like literally a direct continuation. Um, but oh yeah, I went the wrong way. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's 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 this very simple game. Like, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, and it's really short. I think I think my playthrough had um, had like uh. What was it? Maybe three hours played? Which is not a lot. You know, like, it's a pretty short game. But, and I'm not going to play the whole thing here. I'm just going to play, like, uh, uh, some. Um, but the coolest thing about this game is how it looks. Like, this is a remake of an old Sega game. And they went hard on like making this game look nice like they legitimately were like like they they didn't have to go this hard to make this game look this pretty like everything's like really nice looking everything's well animated like this style like everything i like i love everything about this game um one thing that's cool too is that if you press a button you can actually play it in the old style the old master system style uh, which is pretty cool uh, and then at the press of a button, you can go back to... So, like, look, there's the bat. Now it's... Yeah. Which I think is super dope. The Mecha Dragon. So, yeah, like... Um... Yeah, I think this is literally, like, the final boss of, of the other game or something. Something like that. Um, but... Yeah, Mike, the, the, for me, the coolest thing is just, like, how they turned it into this. Like, they based, like, literally, they had just that those sprites to work off, and they made it look like this, and it's amazing. Um, who is it? Um, the people who made... The, these This team, I think, went on to make Streets of Rage 4. I think it's the same team. They might have had someone else help or whatever, but I'm just like the the art style is just it's so nice, it's so colorful, like it's it's just I don't know I I like adore this this uh this whole everything about this game. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to play it, um, kind of just showcase it because like I said, like I've I've beat this game before. Uh, I'm not gonna play the whole thing unless it's requested, but uh, it was mostly just to like, because I haven't played it on the channel, so I wanted to play some, some of it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what this game's about. And um, one thing that's cool is like as you as you go along, you actually gain um, like every time you beat a boss, you get like a new ability, like a new form. And each form has like yeah, like you have the the dinosaur or dragon, I guess. You've got um, you've got like a lion. I think you have a mouse. There's like a bird or like a hawk or something. Um, 
There's one that's like a water animal. I don't remember what it is, but like... Yeah, like you, um... You gain these abilities, and it lets you go to like new areas. And now, proceed with your adventurous undertaking. Wonder Girl, the Dragon's Trap. Oh God, it's so pretty. It's like everything about it. Yeah, let's play it this way. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, sure, let's get that. How do I? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I, I know the, um, I know the, um, one of the things you get is like, you're able to walk up, um, walk up these like checkered patterns. Um, one of the abilities you get is like, you can break the bricks. One of them is you can go in the water. There's like hidden areas. Yeah, it's just, it's just a good time. Just a, just a grand old time. I've got a second heart. Um, I don't remember where to go though. Cause, um, yeah, with, with this is the number of games that I, that I, that I'm trying to play through. Um, like it's really hard for me to replay games. Which sucks, because there's a lot of games like this that I, I really enjoy. Um, that I really enjoyed playing through. And uh, I would love to play again. But, due to time constraints and... I got, like... The beach. Like, I have, um... Let me see. I have, well, I have video games that I want to play, but also I work, you know, 40 plus hours a week. Which, you know, and then like... There's also, um... Me doing these videos, which... I used to play some games, but a lot of the games it's like a one and done type thing. Uh, because I don't get a chance to go back to them. Um, I've got... Like, I've got doodles and stuff now that, that I... That I make for, um, my Etsy shop. Um, I've got like the the music stuff that I make for my band camp. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh no! No no! Um, there's that. There's like running errands. Um, there's also like I don't get a lot of time with Alyssa, so what time we do have, we tend to like when we get home, we usually hang out together. Um, and like either we're both doing our own thing or we're watching TV or, or something. But um like again it doesn't leave me time to like replay. And then when I like I am playing video games finally, it's either like something like Splatoon where I'm playing with people, or it's just something that like I don't have time for like a whole thing, so I just it's like a it's like a rhythm game, like a, like the Tyco game, just cause I know I can get in and out quick. Um, or I'm playing like Fire Emblem Heroes, which takes up time too. I don't know, man. I just I've got a lot of things that I want to do, and a lot of things that that uh, I had to keep up with. And unfortunately, uh, um, like some things take a like a. What's the word? Like, is it this one? No. It's like some of the some of the things that I want to do um, can't be done as often as... What the fuck? What's in here? What was in there? Nothing? Some of the things that I want to do, I don't get to do as often. Or, like, I don't have time for... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I like this game. And I wanted to play it again. And in order to play it, there's nothing in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted.
Um, sorry. Uh, is this the mountain? It's not even a beach. It's just fucking mountain. Um. Yay. What the hell is they talking about? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, yes, this this was me giving myself an excuse to play this game again because I like it and I wanted to play it again and it's pretty and I think that I think more people should play it because it's it's cool. It's a it's a cool game. It's not very hard. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it's just very pretty to look at and like everyone's talking about right now uh, the big thing coming out. Uh, it'll probably be out by the time this video's up, but the big thing coming out is the Nintendo Switch OLED, and everyone's like, oh my god, the Switch OLED, and, like, it's gonna be cool, because it's gonna have this, that, and the other, and, like, yeah, like, it's gonna be cool to play these games on, like, an OLED or whatever, and, and I agree, like, having that in handheld is, would be cool, but I, I don't really play handheld, and, like, people are like, oh, I wonder what these games are gonna look like on OLED, because... Because, you know, like, all the, the, the blacks are blacker and the and it makes the infinite contrast and whatever, whatever. And, um, I'm lucky enough to have an OLED already as my main TV, the one that I'm actually recording on. So, like, I, like, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, oh, I gotta get the Switch OLED. I'm like, I already have an OLED way to play a Switch. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing that up is because it makes games like this um, and Streets of Rage, I think, does it better because it's got so many cool lighting tricks with like uh, the way it illuminates the characters and stuff like that. Um, it's got so many cool tricks like that that, and it's made by the same people, so it, you know, it's more power to them. Uh, but it's it's something that like games like this that are that are um, like animated and not like trying to be realistic though the realistic ones look good too but like games like this specifically are just like they just look primo they, they're like next level how they look and it's ridiculous because like it, it just looks perfect and it's crazy to me that that's a thing like the games can just look perfect and uh that's what i was that was what i was getting at with the whole switch thing it was that like this game is very pretty, and I'm I'm lucky enough to be able to watch it or play it on its prettiest, in the prettiest way, like that it can be played. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I don't remember like what to do. Oh, that opened. Cool. Cool. Ooh. Oh my god, this game is so pretty. Sorry, I know I just keep repeating myself. The desert. The dessert. But it really is, like... I mean, I don't know, you probably... Whoever's watching this is probably watching this on a cell phone, so it's not the same, but... Like, watching, watching this game, like, on a large screen is um is a treat oh shit did y'all just one shot me i'm not supposed to be here am i i don't think i am that's okay um oh yeah i'm not supposed to be here oh my goodness this guy just took out almost all my health in one hit Oh! Oh no! Give me that! Give me that! Oh! Oh! Give me the coin! Go and get! Dum 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 dum! Oh, they're back! Crap! Oh! No! Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go this way. You know what? 
I'm gonna go down here uh, and talk to the nurse and get my health back. Thanks, nurse. Alright. We're almost at time. Well, I mean, we're technically at time already. I, I do 15 minutes, I think, but I'll do a little bit more. I'll go to the left and see what's what's uh, what's up there, but um, Monster Boy, Monster Girl, Wonder Girl, Wonder, is it Monster Boy? Was it Wonder Girl? I think it's Monster Girl. Well, it's called Monster Boy and the Dragon's Trap. That's the name of, or Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. Yeah, Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. That's the name on the cover. Just Wonder Girl when you when you pick the girl character, which is what I did. Um, only the only the um, the actual like when she's a knight or when they're like human and when it changes. I don't believe the the animals or the the shape shifts change at all. I think they stay the same. Look at how pretty it is, and then look at how it used to look. And I still love it. Like, I feel like if I was playing this, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But like something, like something about it just looking like this, just like, I'm like, I can't, I can't not love it. Like. Oh god, it's so pretty. All right. Oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I didn't get to spend my money. I'm stupid. Silly son. Ah! Ah! Okay. Yes. I think that one... Oh my god. How many... I like I like that the, the clouds are... Like... The clouds are, um... Like, they've got shades on. It's such a weird touch. I think I fall here? Maybe I fall here. Oh my goodness. I can't get over this freaking game. Alright. We're in the pyramid world. Um, but yeah, all these little checkered checker checker checker, uh, checker box, checker pattern. Like you can if you're playing as Oh! Oh If you're playing as the mouse, you can um You can actually walk up those and it's easier. And I get nothing. Did I lose all my money? I did not. Uh, we're gonna return to title. And we're gonna look at the gallery real quick. Wonder, like, oh my, like it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this, look what, like, ah. Uh. God, like I want this as a poster. Like I want I want this framed in my living room. Same with that. Same with that. That one's cool, but it's not. That one's okay. That one's dope. Like, I don't know. It's just everything about the art style is just like for me anyway, it's like the coolest thing ever. Like they took that little guy and turned him into that. Same with, like, the, you know, they're like, how do we turn this character into, I don't know. I just think they did a really good job of, I this this, this damn whole video has just been me praising this game, and it deserves it. I just really like what they did with the whole thing, and I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. It's, it's one of those games where, like, I literally... Like, I'm just like, yeah, it's just cool. Like, it's a... Legitimately, I'm just... Like, it's a cool game. And I like it. Look at him.
Yeah, oh yeah, he drags his sword because it's so big, yeah. Yeah, the bird form, all the little animations. Oh my goodness, uh, I guess I don't have them all, but. All right, I'll shut up about Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. It's just so pretty and and I love it. And I'm glad that I, I am able to play this game. But that's it for this video. Um, Next game I play, I promise will be bad. That way I can talk shit about it. But this one, I just can't. I just love everything about it. It's, It just brings me nothing but joy.